Hello, it's Fabulous Friday. Are you ready? It's the Daily Hoop and Chat, so here we go. Grab your power hoops if you've got one. If you're wondering why I'm hooping, some of you watch me regularly, you know, but I'm going to just tell you quick. If you've got a bit of midsection going on that you'd like to trim, start doing power hoop. If you want to activate your core muscles and make them a bit stronger, do power hoop. If you tend to bloat really easily and a bit uncomfortable through your tummy, do power hoop. If you've got non-specific back pain or period pain, do power hoop. You ready? Come on then. So I'm going to put the hoop on. I'm going to place it on my lower back. Look, I've got it halfway round on the hoop. I'm going to put my right leg forward, turn to the left and boom, launch. So the hoop is on its way. Let me just put a timer on so I don't talk to you for hours. So this is the daily hoop and chat. I do this most days in the week, normally on Instagram and Facebook, sometimes on TikTok. So I just thought I'd give you a bit of a mix up today. It is fabulous Friday. I hope you are having the best day or you're excited because it's Friday. And this is just a really, really good way of more daily movement. I actually love this. When I was a kid, I couldn't hoop. Couldn't hoop to save my life. Couldn't catch, couldn't throw, couldn't ride a bike. Definitely couldn't hold a hoop. As an adult, I've persevered with this as a weighted hoop, so it's a lot easier. So basically, the momentum of my movement, look, all I'm doing is just gently pushing my hips forward and back. Nothing major. I'm not thrashing around like a fish out of water. And I'm not doing this, look, don't do that. Most people think you hula hoop like that, don't do that, it's really bad for your hips. Is. Doing this, I'm engaging my core, I'm working my core muscles, they're nice and tight, so I'm getting a core workout. I'm massive, massaging out my digestive system, so if I'm a bit bloated or uncomfortable, this is amazing, it gets rid of it. But be warned, if you're hoping with anybody, you might burp or you might bop. It might happen, okay, if you're very, very bloated. When not to hoop, obviously if you're pregnant, don't hoop. If you've got a specific back problem, like prolapse discs and stuff, obviously don't hoop, it's not gonna help at all. All right, so this is what I'm doing. This is why I'm doing the daily hoop. The other thing, if you are brand new to this or you're watching thinking, well, I fancy doing that, stick to two minutes each side, otherwise you might get a little bit sore when you first do this, all right? I'd like to say this is lightly massaging my core, but, it is a bit of like donk, 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 donk. Yeah, it's not, it's not painful, but when you first start doing it, it's a little bit to get used to. So yeah, I also do this because I find it a lot easier to be active when I'm talking to you guys rather than just standing there staring into the camera. So anyway, yeah, this is the daily hoop. I'm gonna <coughs> stick to two minutes each side today so I don't bore you to death. All right, we're nearly there. Now, did you do the daily challenge yet today? Have you done that? So the daily challenge is core and more, and we're using the resistance bands. Right, I'm just gonna change side. Now look, if you've got long nails, you've got false nails on, put your legs together, let the hoop drop. If you've got just normal nails, you can just catch it. Just like that. I'm just gonna sort my leggings out. Other side, so watch again, watch the launch. This is the most important bit. Hoop onto the lower back, turn the hoop one way, launch, and off you go, yeah? If you don't know what to do with your arms, just put them here, like this and then your elbows are out of the way, you won't bash them. You can, of course, do all sorts of weird and wonderful things with your arms if you want to, or you can just hold them there, all right? And when you're first learning to hoop, don't try and do arms and legs, just literally worry about the hooping. So, back to the daily challenge. I posted yesterday, and we're doing core and more with press-ups, and I taught you how to do them with a resistance band across your arms, and that's really, really good. For those of you who think you can't do push-ups, you don't think you're strong enough or you've never been able to do them, if you get one of those resistance bands, the booty bands, pop it around your arms instead of your leggies, and it just helps you perfect your technique and your strength. So eventually, you'll get stronger. I couldn't do push-ups. I've always decided I was much too heavy for my own arms. But I use a band, and it's a lot easier. I'll show you at the end, actually. I'll remind you in case some of you haven't seen it. I gave you four options on how to do it something for everybody no matter what your strength or fitness level and the reason I chose that for core and more is when you do a tricep press up properly you really work your core muscles as well it isn't just your upper body so it's a really really good exercise you do bone to bone loading so really good for your bone health you're toning up through your arms your chest your upper back and of course your core 
So that's why we're going to do it. So I'm just going to do another about 10 more seconds of the hoop, so I'm equal. Don't want to end up bent over like a banana. So I'm making sure I hoop both sides, and then I'll show you what the daily challenge is, just in case you missed it, all right? There we go, boom. Two minutes done each side. You're gearing up for the Black Friday sales, guys, are oh, you? Yeah. What you got your own? I'll tell you what I got my own. I really want one of those Ninja Foodies, the air fryer. I want one of those. So if you've got any recommendations for a really good air fryer, yeah, for a family, give us a shout because I'd love to know what to use. Right, put the booty band on your arms, like so, away from the joint and not in my armpits. Come down to the floor. If you still can't do any of these, by the way, you can do this against the wall, all right? Especially if you've got dodgy wrists. So I'm gonna show you. You ready? So I'm gonna show you the hardest version first mainly because I'm a little bit worn out and I might not be able to keep going for that long, all right? Hands close, legs straight, squeeze my knees and ankles together, yeah? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down and lift one leg, come up, down and come up. That is definitely what I think the most challenging one is, yeah? That's option four. Option three, straight leggies, squeeze them together because I've got the band, if I didn't have the band on guys, I wouldn't be able to do this, I'll tell you the truth. Straight down and up, straight down and up. Now, option two, not quite so bad. Start with your legs straight, squeeze them together. Look where my hands are. They're right underneath my shoulders, my face in front. I go down, I put my knees down and I come up. And then the first option is just down and up, down and up, down and up. And there you have it. That was the daily challenge. If you want to join me, it's a free, Thing that I do every single day and I've actually got a daily challenge group so if you want to know any more give us a shout and I will sort you out a link so those of you watching here I'm going to say goodbye to you thanks for watching if you want any more information stick it in the comments I'll go back and have a look so bye guys